हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन कोर्स ऑन नॉन कन्वेंशनल मशीनिंग और एडवांस मशीनिंग प्रोसेसेस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट केमिकल मशीनिंग नाउ बिफोर आई रियली स्टार्ट विद दिस केमिकल मशीनिंग प्रोसेस आई वुड लाइक टू टेल अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंट डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस केमिकल मशीनिंग प्रोसेस एंड इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल मशीनिंग प्रोसेस इन इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल मशीनिंग प्रोसेस we are taking tool and work piece you can see in this figure also this is your tool as i have shown here and this is your work piece and what we are doing here in this process we are connecting this positive terminal of dc power supply to the work piece and negative terminal of this power supply we are connecting to the tool correct and by flowing the electrolyte in between this inter electrode gap or in this inter electrode gap by supplying or by flowing electrolyte it will start action of electrolysis okay so result of this by flowing of electrolyte what will get will get electrolyte electrolysis process that will takes place and due to electrolysis process the anode dissolution or i will say the dissolution of the material from the work piece that will takes place okay that means electrical energy plays important role for this electrochemical machining process while in case of this chemical machining process there is no use of electrical energy rather we have tool in this process also you can see okay and we have the work piece here you can see and they are immersed inside this tank okay now this tank is filled with the what is known as hn that is a chemical reagent correct and there is a chemical reaction between this work piece and the each end okay so through this action material removal will happen for this process okay so this is a difference uh, between this electrochemical machining process and chemical machining process that we should know this difference okay so there is no confusion between chemical machining and electrochemical machining okay and again if you talk about the now about the chemical machining this process it is ancient process and it is being used for engraving the metals okay so i will uh, i will say this chemical machining is a process which is used to remove the material by by what action or which action by dissolution in a controlled manner okay from work piece we have to remove the material by dissolution action in a controlled manner and with the help of hot by application of masking and heatant okay so this this is a very old process as long as chemical machining is concerned and here i repeat chemical machining process removes the material in a controlled manner by the application of masking and heatant okay in our next slide i am going to talk about or i will explain about what is masking and what is a heatant okay now what is the function of masking so the function of this mask is that it does not allow each end to penetrate and react with the work piece to dissolve it okay while what is the function of each end it dissolves work piece and work piece and remove the material by chemically action okay with that chemical action will happen 
on the work piece okay that means the dissolution action will take place okay and for that we require each end correct this is a function of mass current and each end again this each end it will react with the work piece chemically it will reacts and forms a new product and removes the material from this work piece okay so this is a basic okay now i will tell here some silent features of the chemical machine okay so here i have shown some silent features of chemical machine okay now first is this chemical machine process is applicable for shallow depth of removal of material again up to 12 mm or 10 mm 12 mm or uh, so as the upper limit okay also it is very low cost of tooling and equipment for this process okay again there is low production runs that means production rate is not very high and because lot of efforts made by uh, operators are involved in this process okay again material removal rate for this process is quite low okay as you can uh, see material removal rate for this chemical machine process is up to 0.1 mm or millimeter per minute okay so just an example i will shown that is a 0.1 mm per minute okay again this process is burr free and trace free okay as you can clearly uh, see in this uh, diagram also here okay as you can Uh, clearly see in this chemical uh, machine there is no any mechanical force so no thermal energy so it is only chemical reaction for this process and which remove the material okay hence this process is burr free and trace free what it again what are the definitely complex designs are there no that can be that can be machinery using this or that can be prepared by using this process okay so complex shapes component can be made by this particular process okay again thin plates uh, as thin as 0.005 mm or you can say 5 micron can be machine using this process okay so these are the some silent features of chemical machine let us talk about the applications of this chemical machine okay now there are various applications of this chemical machine process some of them i have uh, stated over here okay the first is this process is very successful and extensively uh, used in aviation industries okay it is a very good process for making printed circuit boards that is pcbs again for the jewelry turbine engine components pressure vessel vessel uh, bulk heads for that purpose we can use this chemical machining process and the, this chemical machining is used for the production of blind pockets also okay or you can say it is a chemical milling process okay so i will i can say chemical milling is used for production of blind pockets correct again this chemical blanking is also done and it is used for production of thorough cavities or thorough holes slot etc okay again this chemical machining process we can use for the various materials 
which are commonly uh, machine or the or shaped by this particular process and that materials are or includes aluminum chromium copper nickel steel lead zinc so for that purpose also we can use this chemical machining process okay now for uh, machining these different materials as you can see here like uh, steel uh, lead zinc you have uh, you have to have different kinds of agent which can chemically successfully react with the workpiece material that point is very important important okay same way you have uh, to select appropriate mask and also for that protocol material okay which uh, does not chemically react with the agent and workpiece both okay so these are the applications let us discuss now steps for the chemical machining or steps uh, to be followed during this chemical machining process so first step is we have to clean the workpiece first using alkaline solution and then we have to wash with the fresh water okay so that uh, whatever dust or other things are there no on the workpiece they are separated out so that each end can directly react with the workpiece material okay then apply the mask and coat by one of the following method here there are the different methods for applying the mask and and these methods uh, here i have stated first method is cut and peel method then second is the screen method and third is the photo resistor method okay so out of this you can select one method for applying the mask and coat okay so i have just mentioned uh, mask and can be applied in uh, three ways okay as shown over here also now you can see this is a basic principle uh, showing the figure okay now you can see here that each end is there you can see each end is there which is shown in this particular container okay the container is filled with filled with each end now workpiece is uh, shown there where you can see here this is a workpiece where b is written now this b is the area where there is no mask on and in rest of portion as you uh, as shown here in this diagram the rest of portion by each line that is mask on okay now each and resistance lining is there okay each and resistance resistance line is here i have shown okay now container is having each and resistance lining otherwise what will happen each and may react with the your container also and dissolve the container itself so you have the each and resistance linings okay now each and container is also having the as i have mentioned here heater coils okay heater coils are there or heating coils now what happen by increasing the temperature of the each end you can increase the dissolution rate or machining rate okay that is why you can control the temperature of bath in uh, in which your each end is there now what happens when this material say uh, from area b as shown in this particular figure is dissolved then it remains in the area surrounding to this b itself okay and as a result of that the chemical reaction between this each end and the workpiece reduces or lowers down or becomes slow hence the dissolved material or reaction products formed due to the chemical dissolution of the workpiece should be removed quickly from the area where machining is taking place and for that purpose you should have here that is agitator correct got it 
and once dissolution start the agitation of the agent should keep going on so that the concentration of reaction product is not high in the area surrounding surrounding the area which is uh, to be machined here you can say letter b in this particular case correct so apply the masking by one of the method i have mentioned in this slide also that was uh, either photo resist method or screen printing method or peel and cut off methods then next step is dip the work piece in each and bath and let it be there for the desired time that is the work piece you dip it and uh, then let remain there for the desired period then take the work work piece out from the each and bath up after the desired depth has been achieved of that letter b you can see here and in this particular case if you take the example of this figure in this particular case b letter has to be each or that much depth of machine surface should be achieved and for deciding this particular time of etching how much time it uh, it will take for that purpose you have to conduct the preliminary experiments and with the help of that experiments you can decide how much time it takes for a removal of the material from the workpiece and then once that time is over that means the material has been removed up to the desired depth okay then you can take your workpiece out from the kitchen bath and you can remove the mask and layer okay now again to take the workpiece out you require the some device okay so using the device or with the help of device you can take out your workpiece okay then with the help of device you can remove the mask and layer from the your workpiece whatever is there on the workpiece okay then at last that is the last step after removal of the mask and layer you can wash your workpiece thoroughly under the fresh water okay then you will get the your finished or machined product or surface okay so this is about the steps to be followed for the chemical machining okay so a remaining part about the chemical machining process we will discuss in the next lecture and to get the latest lecture from our youtube channel please subscribe our youtube channel and click on the bell icon thank you thank you very much hopefully you might have enjoyed the lecture then please do like the video and know your thoughts in comments please do share this video among your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel after subscription you can press the bell icon to never miss the notification regarding our new videos thank you thank you so much